So as we all know by now, uh, dead man mode is just that. It's uh, it's pretty dead. And we started out, you know, on the first day of dead man mode. Each world had about a thousand players in it. And now we're out about like what's well, been like two weeks now, I think maybe. And now we're down to like a hundred players in each world. That's pretty bad. And so uh, they Jagex was asking for suggestions on how to make dead man mode better. And uh, for me, I think personally, the for me, I think there's really two big issues. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more, but uh, those the biggest issue for me, I think, is the fact that the game doesn't really appeal to like the casual player and the non PK players. Like, for instance, the casual player probably will play two to three hours on average. Now, the players that are extremely dedicated and can play this game for like 12 hours plus. They have such an advantage over the casual player because they can sit there and train up their stats for, you know, 10 hours a day. They'll be 100 combat in no time. And then, you know, versus the casual player who plays, you know, three hours a day, it takes him, you know, two weeks to even get to a point where he's semi-decent at PKing. And by that point, every other player that plays more than that guy is already so much higher level that there's no reason for him to go PK because let's say, say for example, he spends two weeks training up his stats, all that. He's still so much lower level compared to everybody else that when he goes and PKs, the chances of him dying are extremely high. So when he dies, if he's scald, he loses half of his stats. That's a week's worth of progress for that guy. Do you really think that the guy who spent two weeks training, losing half of his progress is really going to want to play another week just to go out and be able to PK and he's set back so far that even when he gets back to the point he was at a week ago everybody else is even that much higher and that much better at it than or of a point than he is so when he goes out PKing the second time his chances of dying are like double compared to the first time he died so he's just gonna keep dying over and over and you know when you spend you spend a week getting back to the point that you were at beforehand and then you just go out and die again you're gonna you're like what's the point in playing every time i'm gonna die and all i'm doing is training i might as well if i'm just grinding the entire time i might as well just go play old school runescape why the hell am i wasting my time on here i'll just go on old school runescape and pk at least at that point all i do is just lose the items i'm wearing i don't lose my stats and all that so i think the biggest point like I don't really understand why you lose your stats. I guess it's kind of something to make it more dangerous, but it like nobody wants to play that. Like I know for me, the second time around, I don't even want to go PKing now. Granted, you know, there's nobody even to kill really, but you know, I've got all these good, such good stats. Like I don't want to go out and die to some clan that's like eighteen thousand times better than me. And I know I'm part of like the Hey Boys clan, but it's like. I can't play as much as the people that are in Rot and AC and, you know, all those other clans. And because, like, you know, I've, I've got work, I've got other obligations that I've got to worry about. So no matter what, at the end of the day, those clans are always going to be better than me. So, like, what's the point of me even going out and PKing when some level 120 who is, like, in max gear? And I'm not even the best PKer either. So, like, you know, whatever. And that's another thing, too, is that. In order to be successful on dead man mode, you have to be able to try bridge. That's the problem. Like for me, I could probably PK if all I have to worry about is like range and magic. But in order to take down these top level players, not only are they 100 plus combat, they also are very good try bridge. So it's like you don't stand a chance, you know? You have like if you're getting ice barraged you and you're far away from a bank you're dead you're screwed like there's no chance of surviving especially if there's more people like if there's if there's even just two guys and you're one you're you're done because all they have to do is just tag off on you so like the biggest the biggest issue is i think that you know clans clans are obviously a big issue but i think it's the fact that clans cause the deaths and the deaths are the issue because dying you lose, you know, so much XP and so much time that you worked on and it sets you back so far that you don't really want to, you know, work to train those stats back up. And another thing is that this, like, RuneScape is a game that has always thrived. There's, a, there's, P, there's player killers, there's PVMers, and then there's skillers. And there's a reason for that because the PKers 
need the skillers and the PVMers need the skillers in order to get supplies in order to do what they want to do. A PKer, you know, uh, dead man mode is so catered to PKers. PKers don't want to go out and get sharks. PKers don't want to go out and make potions. They don't want to do out. They just want to buy them. And so there's nobody in dead man mode doing those things because they're not going to go out and risk uh, their, you know, stack of 500 chin chompas because if they're not training combat, everyone's higher level than them. So they can't really defend themselves when they're going and skilling. And so like, they don't want to catch chins because they're going to waste all their time. You know, if all it takes is some level 50 that comes along with snares and 50 range, they're going to die to that guy. So it's like even the lower end PKers are still like, they're still vulnerable to those guys. It's not even the high level ones at that point. So why does anyone want to go out and skill? Why does anyone want to go out and mine in a dangerous zone when, you know, they're at such a disadvantage to the player that can just come by and just kill them at any time? Like, it, the game needs skillers. The game needs the casual players. The game needs the skillers. Otherwise, you know, they're not going to die or they're not going to play. And this game is so, like, I've learned over the years that PKers do not like doing the things like that. They just want to be able to buy what they need they don't want to train their skills up and all that stuff and then on top of that like i said you like the reason pkers don't especially on dead man mode won't want to skill is that when, if you're not training combat stats you're at a disadvantage because everyone else around you is constantly training your combat stats so if you're not they're getting higher levels than like higher combat levels than you are while you're skilling and <laughs> That puts you at a disadvantage. Anytime you're not training combat, anytime you're not doing something combat related, you are at a disadvantage of other players who are doing that. And then the last flaw that I think is the trading system. Because, like I said, people don't even want to skill. So why in the world would anybody want to go out and get those like small items and put themselves in like dangerous things? Like one thing in particular, like you need lock picks, for example, for desert treasure. Now, why in the world would anyone risk their entire bank and their stats just to go get some lockpicks to sell? You know what I mean? They're going to go get lockpicks for themselves, perhaps, but, like, nobody wants to go get lockpicks to be in a dangerous spot. It's all those, like, you know, those low things that nobody really cares about. But on old school RuneScape, there's always someone that seems to be selling those things for some reason. Because, you know, they're... Somebody to somebody going and buying lock picks and selling them is a good money making method for them. So you know it's like we we need those types of players. And so for me, you know my personal suggestions, I think I honestly think that losing stats on death is absolutely ridiculous. I don't get the point in that. It's like I said, it's probably just to make things more dangerous, but that that causes people to quit. You know, you put so much time. It's like Say you got a job, all right, and you work so hard every day to get a promotion, and then you get fired. <laughs> like, you work so hard because you want to go PK, and then you just get killed and set back. And then you got to go find another job or start over, you know what I mean? So it's like, it just, you, you get so discouraged on trying to play. And for me, I haven't even went PKing yet on Dead Man Mode because I know I'm going to die. Like, what's the point? I know I'm going to go out there and some high-level hybrid's going to take me out. And then I think that having the grand exchange for trading would be pretty big. It may like it makes because you want to be training combat at all times, you know, and if you have to spend an hour trying to trade somebody to find items you need, you're wasting time because people are people around you are training up while you're waiting to buy some items. So if you just hop to the GE, grab what item you need, and then get back to training, you know, it's it's all good. And I honestly think also losing items in your bank is a pretty like losing all the items in your bank is a pretty bad idea because that doesn't allow skillers in the game because they lose you lose 28 stacks of items now for me personally i think the best solution to this and 28 is kind of a rough number i think it should be less than 28 maybe 10 items you lose your 10 best items but i also think you shouldn't lose stacks of items you should lose your like 10 items so say for example i had three Aram's robes tops that would count as three items instead of just one stack of items because that's ridiculous like if I had 10 bandos chest plates and I die 
I lose all 10 of those Bandos chest plates, and that just counts as one, like, one stack of items. I still lose another nine stacks of items, versus if I had 10 Bandos chest plates and I died, all I would lose is those 10 Bandos chest plates, you know what I mean? I think that would be the best solution for as far as on death. So, don't lose XP on death. You lose, you know, maybe 10 items, not 10 stacks of items, and then things like the grand exchange and all that and then there needs to be some sort of protection for skillers i don't know what i couldn't come up with an idea how to protect skillers the only thing i thought of was to put a bunch of skilling stuff in safe zones but that kind of defeats the purpose so i mean to me that doesn't sound like a good solution that's the only thing i come up with but as far as that um i think that's the reasons why dead man mode is in the state it's in something needs to be done about it otherwise this game mode's like it's going to be shit. I mean, it already is shit right now, but it's going to be, it's not going to get any better. It's just going to constantly be in decline. So those are my opinions. Um, you know, thanks for listening, whatever. Hope I, I just wanted to talk about it. It wasn't really a matter of trying to convince anybody of my ways or anything like that. It's just, those are my thoughts and opinions. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. I mean, this is kind of a longer video and just kind of ranting about whatever, but yeah, hopefully uh, we'll come out with a video soon. I don't know if it's going to be a dead man video. We'll see. Like I said, I'm quickly getting discouraged from dead man. So we'll see it. The next episode could possibly be a just regular old school video, but you know, peace.